Many people think that Google Chrome and Chromium are the same, but there are some differences in their development, licensing, and features. Chromium has served as the core engine for browsers like Chrome, Opera, Edge, and Brave, handling the display of websites. It can also be used as a standalone browser, but it's missing the key features found in Google Chrome. This video explores the differences between Google Chrome and Chromium. Chromium is the open source project that Google Chrome is based on. The Chrome browser was first launched in 2008, and it introduced Chromium as a platform for developers to write their own web browsers. It forms the basis and provides the technology for Chrome and many other popular browsers. To create its unique features and user interface, Chrome then adds proprietary code on top of Chromium. While Chrome has proprietary features, the Chromium base has been used by other companies to develop and customize their own browsers. Chromium is an open source project, meaning that its source code is available for anyone to view and modify, improving transparency and community collaboration. Its open source nature allows contributions from a large community of developers. Although Chrome is built on the open source Chromium code, the browser itself is closed source because Google adds its proprietary code. Chrome is a free to use browser, but you can't make changes to its source code to develop a new browser from it. Although Google Chrome and Chromium have very similar user interfaces, Chrome generally has many more features than Chromium. It adds several features that Chromium itself doesn't include, leading to a better browsing experience. These include automatic updates, crash reporting, a PDF viewer, support for media codecs, and more. Chrome also adds enhanced security features, like safe web browsing, which are not present in Chromium. Chromium lacks many of the tracking features found in Google Chrome. Unlike Chromium, Google Chrome may send usage statistics, crash reports, and browsing data to Google if the user opts in or has sync enabled. Chromium does not send tracking data and prevents websites from collecting user behavior insights, making it a preferred choice for users concerned about their privacy. Chromium updates more frequently, sometimes even multiple times per day, but it's considered less stable than Google Chrome. Google Chrome is thoroughly tested before release, making it more stable and reliable for everyday users. Although Chromium is just as secure as Google Chrome, the lack of automatic updates means that users will have to download and install updates manually. Google Chrome is designed to integrate with Google services, like the Chrome Web Store, Google Sync, and Google Password Manager. Chromium doesn't have the same level of integration as Chrome and does not include Google Sync, which allows users to sync bookmarks, history, passwords, and other data across devices. Another difference is browser extensions. Although you can still install and use extensions on Chromium, you won't be able to directly install them from the Chrome Web Store. You will need to manually download the extension and then drag and drop it into the extensions page. Also, extensions don't automatically update to the latest version, so you will need to manually install updates. Google Chrome is a better choice for most everyday users due to its stability and built-in features offering a complete browser experience with minimal setup. If you use Google services and want a fully featured stable browser, you should use Google Chrome. Chromium is more suited to advanced users and developers who prioritize customization and privacy over their browsing experience. If you want an open source browser with more built-in privacy, you can use Chromium or consider a Chromium-based alternative, like the Brave browser. While Chromium can attract developers who are looking for more customization options and privacy, the browser may feel a bit stripped down because you won't find all the extra features that Chrome has. If this video was useful for you, then don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you want to receive notifications whenever new content is posted, you can click on the bell icon after subscribing.